Good morning, folks. Let's begin with yesterday's X-Class solar flare. Not only were Mercury and Venus heliocentrically conjoined, but we had a sun-diving comet that I missed. It did die upon approach, making the bajillionth time we've seen this comet flare timing coincidence. Speaking of solar flaring, it is on the decline. We've had only one M flare event since the X-Class blast, and it appears to me to have been a rapid eruptive snap of the fields above this area. I do believe I can see ejecta here and in an area to the east. And on Soho, it appears that a CME impact for Earth is possible for May 9th. It would be minor, if anything. Sunspot situation didn't change much. Still got spread on the north and spread tearing apart that region to the south. No mixing. We still do have a lot of magnetic mixing apparent in the big dog up north to pop the X flare. And the only real change in sunspots the last day being the new ones on the south incoming there. Yesterday morning we identified the CME impact in the solar wind and said we need to watch for reverberations. Well, CME slashed at the electron flux, surged energy into Earth's system, and we had a brief magnetic storm. It has subsided now. So days ago we saw this typhoon form. Papua New Guinea took a 7 magnitude quake, an Earth spot connection directly to the south. By the way, it is now once again slated to hit the Philippines, so northern residents there be on alert. Well, last night during the magnetic storm, another Uyen storm was classified just behind the first one, and we took another earth spot quake just to the south of it, the third 7 magnitude earthquake to strike this same area already in 2015. So, was this expected? Beyond the solar flare energy, which can be geo-effective for seismicity at any location, we watched the southern negative coronal hole enter Earth-facing position last night. You'll remember from yesterday's news, we reported 20% power loss in that coronal hole as red went to orange, but last night it almost doubled its force in wind speed and solar graphic area. Jeez, look at that. Furthermore, as it gained power, the coronal fields bent and spread open to let the IMF stream out more easily and broadly. Not sure if the coronal hole or the earth spot is more impressive here. By the way, Villarica is going off again. Top stories. Our story on the sun hasn't changed since 2011, but now the list of scientists publicly on board with the coming grand minimum is approaching 200. If you are new here, the sun is about to have a nap like it had 400 years ago, and that's slightly less than the best news you're likely to hear today, linked for you below. Also this, it is very cool to use a rocket to trigger a lightning strike, but what really makes it cool is using a high-speed camera and long exposures, and doing so to piece together amazing images in an attempt to visualize thunder. Yes, visualize thunder. Link is below. I also have a great one on the Enceladus jets. The Saturnian moon has curtain jets that look suspiciously like auroral streams here at Earth. The April State of the Climate report for the United States is out and we were indeed slightly above average for most of the nation. A bit more boring of a month than most, so they focused heavily on the first four months of 2015 combined polar opposites when you see the United States, and while the West is still smashing heat records, if you look only at the daily minimum temperatures, there's never been a start to a year as cold as this one for the Northeast. Nothing like it on record. FYI for members over at suspiciousobservers.org, part three of our deeper look at imminent earth changes was posted yesterday. I can already tell from the emails right now a lot of you are disturbed and anxious about it. We will discuss it more on Fly on the Wall this Saturday, I promise. Well now, coming back to the weather. How about those tornadoes in the central states? I just sat watching helplessly last night as tornado after tornado dropped all up and down the convergence line. Dozens of tornadoes in one night. It's coming again tonight, guys, so be alert. And yeah, we've got to watch for early storm formation off the east coast here to the right. In Europe. We're finally seeing that major system move on to the east while another low pressure cell is heading towards Spain and Portugal as we speak. Kind of appears that the convergence is there already, doesn't it? We do have much of the same story down under. High pressure still clearing Australia with the air masses colliding to the east. That's where the clouds and storm alerts will be. We've got your current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open. 
No Fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.